Hi, how are you? It is Friday, May 24th, and as you can see, a sunny day in Santiago, finally. It's been rainy and gray for the last three, four weeks, and I'm sure that a lot of people that have been walking these last few weeks, they of course know this, especially the ones walking the Korean Portuguese, which seems like to be a lot of you. It's been, uh, it's been wet. Uh, I had some people in, the, in my office complaining a little bit about the weather, but then again, it's Galicia and it's Camino and rain. You need to, you need to calculate that it might rain. But today, the day is a nice one. It's a good one for walking because it's not too warm. It's like if we had like eight, nine degrees in the morning, I think it's going to get up to 18, 19, something like that. Uh, the town itself in Santiago itself is there's a lot of pilgrims You're starting to few, see a, a, a few more tourists as well tour groups things like that which fills up the town a little bit but um, pilgrims office about 2,000 a day uh, maybe a little bit more than 2,000 but uh, it's not extremely busy it's just good busy uh, I think last time I saw statistics on the numbers I saw an article in the Lavo de Galicia, which is the local newspaper, saying that we were up 23% um, compared to the same time last year, uh, this year. So that's a lot. I mean, we last year was a record year, and this year, if it's up 23%, it means that there's more. So uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be that many coming uh, in, in the summer months, uh, but if it is, it's going to be really busy. Uh, but the pilgrim's office seems to be able to handle it. Uh, I don't know if you can see the street. This is the street going down to the pilgrim's office. It's not very busy. Um, there's there's people, but there's not there's not um, a lot of them. And then uh, I talked to someone that was volunteering at the pilgrim's office. They stopped by my office on Monday, I think it was, and they were saying that they had have uh, had had a wonderful time. They were just finishing up their their two week. Uh, stay and uh, they talk to about I think about a hundred pilgrims a day they say more or less in a shift they have three minutes per pilgrim more or less and that was enough time for them I think to, to get a feel for 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 the trip that the pilgrim had made and you know uh, make the moment a little bit special for the pilgrim that's of course difficult when you have so many pilgrims coming in uh, every day to make them feel special because they have been walking a long way for that certificate and um, sometimes uh, if you do give the certificate in 30 seconds and just <laughs> push it push them away or push them off then it's not a great experience but uh, I think they try uh, and do the best out of it uh, we had about a month ago we had 3700 pilgrims in a day and it didn't seem busy at the pilgrims office either even that day so there's a lot of room there i think the new system they have set up is working pretty good uh what else it's been nice to meeting pilgrims that have come by my office i, I think it's really nice to see people come by and just say hi stick your head in say thank you and oh, hi and you know i made it <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, a couple of pilgrims the last few weeks has been coming in and started to tell me their story, and you know, and you can see some some tears also coming out in the in their eyes, which which means the trip has meant a lot to them. Which I think it's it's a nice thing. It's it's good tears. It's not bad tears. So good tears are always welcome. So that's also nice to see. Um, what else? As you can see, there's a tour group back there in, the, in front of the. Parador. There's sometimes we have cruise boats coming in, uh, not to Santiago, of course, but uh, to Coruña or Vigo, and then they bus people down. Some people we have. Uh, the city becomes busy during the day with, with these groups. What else? Uh, I have 20% um, off all pilgrim guides in the next few days. If you are watching this video around the 24th of, of May 2024. So I'll link to all the books that are discounted below in the video description and then you could click on it and then you'll see the discount is taken off at checkout. So when you see the price of the book, you actually don't see the discount until you are on the screen where you put your address and your payment details. Then you'll see the discounts, 20% off for the next few days. About the books, um, John Brayley, of course, his daughter Gemma 
uh, is um, has updated the uh, Camino Inglés book. So the 2024 edition of the Camino Inglés book is now out. I have it in the store. It's one of the books that are 20% off next few days. So I just got it in this week. So that's news on that. And then the Finisterre guide that it really also has, it's coming out in an updated version a 2024 version. Uh, I don't have it yet, but it, I'm promised that I should have it in the next week or two. So I have that new updated version. I'm not on the store yet, but uh, I will put it up soon, uh, as soon as I have more concrete information on when I'm gonna actually have it. But it's coming up. So for the for, for those of you thinking about walking to finish there, you know the Braley guides, um, I will hold off a few weeks to get the updated version. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, if you are in town or if you just want to have a little video conversation with me like I've had with uh, Lisa and with uh, the other ones that I've done in the last few weeks, let me know. Uh, Ivar at casaivar.com. Uh, email me when you are going to be in town more or less and then we could set something up. Hope things are good where you are. Uh, on my on my way back to the office, I'll start the camera while I'm walking, so you can get a feel for what things look like in Santiago right now. Talk to you soon. Ciao.